What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell, I have my box from the Wizarding Trunk. This is the fifth, wait, how many? One, two, three, four, six. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I remember what box we're on. <laughs> I count my books. How sad is that? This is the sixth box in their Magical Lesson series. So we will get our sixth book cover. I do believe this one is based on divination and history of magic. I will say I did have a little spoiler for this box and I am so excited to see this item in person. Y'all are not even ready. But for those who don't know, the Wizarding Trunk is a Harry Potter subscription box. They actually have two different subscription options. They have this one right here, which is their bi-monthly box, which means we get a box every two months. And then they have their quarterly subscription box, which is their special edition boxes. But I am actually a rep for the Wizarding Trunk, so I do have a discount code that you guys can use to save a little bit of money off your first box. Plus, you can also use that on their website in their shop where they have a lot of past box items. But even though I am a rep for this box, all opinions are my own. I always forget to say that. I always try to be honest with you guys with my reactions and thoughts and opinions. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in and sneak peek. Ooh, looks like we have a t-shirt. And right on top, as always, we have the spoiler card. But in true Wizarding Trunk fashion, they always try to make it like an item in the box. So we have a really cool art print design on the front. It says, no, maybe, no, rephrase, yes, maybe. Kind of like a magic eight ball. Those were really big in the 90s. So yeah, spoilers on the back. We will save this for last. But let's see what the t-shirt design is. I, of course, will show you guys first. Oh no, I forgot to tell them my... I forgot to change my t-shirt size. Oh, memo to me. So yeah, sadly this might just be a sleep shirt for me. So this is what it looks like. It looks like we have a wizard on there and it says 1709 Warlock Convention. Oh, so this must be based off of History of Magic. This is totally giving me Danny vibes. I really feel like he designed this. I might be wrong, but it kind of looks like Danny's work. Such a cool design. Definitely looks like it came from a Warlock's convention, but were only Warlock's allowed at this convention? Like, what about witches? Uh, I disagree strongly. <laughs> <laughs> That's my feminism, fem I can't even say it, feminism, fem feminism, feminism side coming out. Not really guys, this is such a cool design. And as always with the Wizarding Trunk, this definitely feels like a very good quality t-shirt. It is very soft. So yeah, love this, great start to the box. And next it looks like we have our enamel pin. Ooh, and it's a big enamel pin this month. And it's Professor Ben's classroom. It says 18th Century Goblin Rebellion. And this is so detailed. We see pictures, we see a bookshelf, maybe some runes up here in the corner. Maybe, I don't know. He even kind of looks a little grumpy. So like Professor Ben's. I absolutely love that we got an item based on Professor Ben's because not only was he cut out from the movies, like why couldn't he have given the speech about the Chamber of Secrets? Like I love that McGonagall did it, it worked. But what I loved in the book that Professor Ben's was like, <laughs> anyway, tangent. Uh, so yeah, we have never gotten, at least I haven't, I've never gotten an item based on Professor Ben's, so I love this. Beyond words, so freaking cool. I think this might be the biggest enamel pen in my collection. Maybe. I don't know. I've gotten some chonkers, but I think this might be the biggest. We need more Professor Ben's and ghost items in general, like Fat Fryer, Nearly Headless Nick. Like, where are those items? I want more items based on the ghosts of Hogwarts. Love this. And next we have a purple pouch. It kind of feels like a coin. Oh, so it's not a coin, like a regular coin. This is kind of like a divination coin. I don't know if that's the right word, but on the front side, it has a design that says yes. And on the back, it has a different design that says no. This is genius. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this because let me tell you guys, 
As you guys know, I have some toddlers and Xander, my five-year-old, has started asking questions and then before I could even say yes or no, he'll be like, oh, I know you're gonna say no. And I'm like, you just asked for uh, ice cream before dinner. Of course I'm gonna say no. But now, now I can be like, it's not up to me. It's up to the coin. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to make sure it lands on no when he asks for stuff like that. But I love this and will totally be using this on a daily basis with my toddlers. Or when my husband asks for stuff, uh, we can ask the coin. <laughs> Such a fun, cool item. Again, one that I've never seen done before and it can be usable and displayable. And again, it definitely feels like very good quality. Like this has some heft to it. I really don't know how you would, oh, no, yes, ha, yes. So yeah, it's light enough that you can actually flip it, but it has, it does have some weight to it. So it definitely feels like very good quality. Y'all, I'm really trying to stop talking so fast in my videos, but I get so excited and I'm just like, woo, 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 woo. that was like a turkey sound. <laughs> Okay, wow, okay, moving on. And next we have a white box that is actually really freaking heavy. I don't know what's in here, but y'all, this is heavy. Wow. Oh, no freaking way. Holy rabies, y'all. It is a prophecy with the grim on the inside. I can just hear Professor Trelawney in my head. You, my dear, have the grim. Like, look at this, guys. I'm gonna have to try and take a video of this so you can see how freaking cool this is because I don't think the camera is doing this justice. Like, how is this even made? It's like it's etched on the inside. I don't, I don't know. It's magic. It's magic. That's the only explanation I have for this because that is so freaking cool. Oh God, I wish you guys could see this. I wish y'all could see this better. I have no other words. Absolutely amazing. I was totally not expecting this. I mean, that's why I love the wizarding trunk. They are always surprising me and blowing my mind. Wow. Okay, you sit stay right there. I hope there's a stand in this box. And next, it looks like we have a crystal. I think that's what they're called. Uh, hold on, let me take it out. So yeah, it's like a pink crystal on a chain. And this is so pretty. I absolutely love that this is pink, which you guys know is my favorite color. But it also has some like gold flakes in there. Very pretty. I'm actually going to look at the spoiler sheet because I feel like I'm saying what this is wrong. Like it's a crystal, but it's not. Okay, so rose quartz chip pendulum. That's the word. Wow, I never would have thought of that. Use this pendulum with the back of your spoiler sheet to receive some answers that you may otherwise have trouble devising yourself. So again, like I said, the wizarding trunk always tries to make the spoiler sheet an item in the box. Definitely seems like something Professor Trelawney would do and use and teach her students. And next we have a brown box. Oh, and this is the item that I was talking about earlier that I had a little sneak peek of and it looks even more amazing in person. So you know we couldn't have a divination box without the teacup from Professor Trelawney's class with the grim on the inside. And of course it had to be blue because the pink ones are her favorite. We definitely don't wanna break any of those. Just absolutely gorgeous, love the design. And I do believe this is like a cup you could probably actually use. And when you get to the end, you see the Grimm. So I guess the Grimm's in all of our futures. So yeah, absolutely amazing. I am in love with this. The perfect item for this box. Wow, just wow. Y'all, this box, <laughs> blowing my mind. And next, I do believe we have a potion. So this is what it looks like. It says, alchemy for the skin, the inner eye, self-awareness, and emotional healing oil. But at the bottom of this, it actually has crystals in there. 
And y'all, just for me touching the bottle, I did get a little oil on my hands and this smells amazing. I'm honestly picking up a little bit of, I want to say pine salt. Is that what I'm, or orange. It probably says on the bottle. I could just look at the bottle. Um, crystal infused, blah, 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 blah. Essential, essential oil of, of something. Lemongrass, lavender, orange, pine, and musk. So yeah, a little bit of pine salt. <laughs> and again, I say it every time. You guys know this. I love Alchemy for the Skin. I've loved almost every single thing they've included. But even if you didn't want to use it, it's definitely an item you could just display on your potion shelf. I love this label. Very authentic looking. So yeah, love this. We still have tons of items. Wow. And next we have a white box. Da, 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 da. Yes, it is a stand for our crystal ball. Thank God. And it's a very pretty stand. Wow. That is amazing. I still can't get over that crystal ball. And next we have a box that says the Green Witch Terra. I think this is like a box or deck of Terra cards. No way first off i have to say i'm even in love with just the design of the box okay you guys it's actual tarot cards now i don't know anything about tarot cards i don't even know if i'm saying that right but i know that each tarot card has like a specific meaning behind it what that meaning is i have no idea but I love this. And just look how amazing the design of these cards are. They're each different. So this is the green man, the witch. I'm not going to go through all of them, but this is the high priestess, the earth mother, the horned god, whoa, the high priest, the lady and the lord, the battle wagon, the crone, the holy king, the will of the year, the standing stone. Oh, I love that one. Totally giving me Outlander vibes. The oak king, the lord of shadows. Okay, I'm not going to keep going because each card has a different design. And there's a lot of cards in this deck. This would be like an hour long video. I don't know who designed these, but talent absolute talent. These are gorgeous. Again, not an item that I would actually use just for the fact that I don't know how to. I don't know anything about tarot cards, but I feel like this is an item that every witch and wizard should have in their collection, especially if they're studying divination. So I love this. And next we have a really big brown box with some purple tissue paper. It's a potion. And this is hands down, hands down, my favorite potion in my entire collection. And not only is this label absolutely amazing, look what they have on top. They have a W, I'm assuming to represent Weasley Wizard Wheezes, because this is the daydream potion that the Weasley twins were talking about in the book to use for your most boring classes. And I do believe the side effects are drooling and a dazed far off look. The potion on the inside is just gorgeous and it has that magical sparkly effect that you guys know I absolutely love. Just perfection, absolutely perfection. The potion, the label, the extra little detail of the W, the wax, the twine, even the bottle they chose is just perfection. And next we have another History of Magic item. It says 1709 Warlocks Convention. Oh, so it's like the official agenda of the Warlock Convention. And it even has order of business for the convention. Dragon breeding restrictions, ban of experimental breeding, non-human wand use restrictions, revisit class A and C non-tradable materials, flying carpet embargo, establishing communication with non-magical authority, magic use and age restriction. I am in love, in love with the design of this. Again, so authentic looking. It honestly feels like this came straight from the Warlocks convention. And last but certainly not least, we have our book cover, which is always my favorite part of the box. 
Oh my gosh, we have red foiling this time. Oh, it's a divination one. I'm loving the red. And the title says, The Secret Centaurian Divination. We even see a centaur on the front with flames, which is very fitting because that was one of the methods that Forenzi, the centaur, Forenzi, Forenzi, right? Anyway, that's one of the methods he used to teach the kids divination. He lit a fire and told them to like find objects in the flames, in the smoke or whatever. So very fitting. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And on the inside, we even see centaurs and stars. As always, just absolutely gorgeous. I love how similar and different each one of these covers have been. And we only have one more cover left before we have our entire collection. I am so excited to finally be able to have the full set displayed. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, but guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Number one was The Secrets of Centaurian Divinations. This book cover was created by Danny at Wizardry Workshop and fits the sixth American hardback edition, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number two was The Crystal Ball. This crystal ball shows a glimpse into the future. What does your future hold? Sunshine, Happiness, Darkness, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number three was the classroom pen. This could possibly be the most boring class at school, but everyone needs to learn their history. Designed by J.P. Mistlecrow, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number four was Divination's Coin. Having some trouble making a tough decision? Give this coin a toss and it will help you on your way. The yes side includes a star, which symbolizes good luck and butterflies, which symbolizes success and pleasure. The no side depicts an hourglass, which means imminent danger, and snakes, which are a bad omen, and to take caution, a wizarding trunk exclusive. Number five was the Warlock's Convention shirt. This shirt was only available at the convention in the 1700s. This shirt was designed for us by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. I thought so. A Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number six was the Daydream Potion. This potion is great for escaping one of the most boring classes you will attend. This is the first product you will receive from our new Wittershins Shop for Tricks and Treats. So maybe that's what the W stood for. Instead of Weasley's, it was Windershins. Ooh, that's exciting. Number seven was the Rose Quartz Chip Pendulum. I already read that. Number eight was the Tea Leaves Teacup. Oh, look, you finished your tea. Take a look and see what your future holds. Be sure to spin the cup and decipher what images that you see most clearly. And thank you for taking the blue cup this time. The pink cups really are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they really are, and Neville broke them. A Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number nine, the Inner Eye Oil. This oil is used to promote self-awareness and emotional healing. It is made with all natural ingredients and is infused with quartz chips. This was created for us by Alchemy for the Skin, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number 10 was the Warlock's Convention Agenda Itinerary. If you're interested in what was covered at the Warlock's Convention, you will find all that information here. This agenda was created for us by Danny at Wizardry Workshop, another Wizarding Trunk exclusive. And number 11 was Green Witch Tarot Card Deck. Tarot cards are used in divinations, specifically cardomancy. Yet another way to help you divine what your future holds. The next box will contain defense and alchemy lessons. Yes, I have been so excited for the defense against the dark arts. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. First off, I did not have a least favorite item. I loved this box. Favorite item? I... Uh... I mean, I don't even think I can pick just one favorite item. I mean, the teacup, the potion, the crystal ball, just everything. I mean, everything in this box, even our little pendulum was just amazing. I honestly think this was my favorite box in the entire Magical Lesson series, which is saying something because I have loved all of these boxes, especially the potion one. I think if I had to pick a second favorite, the potion box would be my favorite, but this hands down is my favorite box. But we do have one more box left in the Magical Lesson series, but I think my future is pretty clear and this will probably end up being my favorite box out of the entire Magical Lesson series. I might be wrong, 
but this is gonna be tough to beat. So yeah, absolutely amazing as always. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And don't forget, you can now join me on Patreon for some exclusive content and giveaways. But I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Hey, y'all. Tabby here, and welcome back to my channel. Why did that come out so clean? What is up, guys? This box is based... Why is my dryer so loud? I do believe this one is based on Transfiguration. Wait, no. We've already had that one. Uh, wow, you can tell I'm such a feminist. Look how bad I just folded that. God, I'm so, I'm so talented. This is Professor Ben's classroom. Ben's, right? Yeah. What? Ben's, yeah. Why am I doubting myself? I'm almost a thousand percent positive it was Professor Ben's. Da, 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 da. Oh my God, y'all. I'm gonna have so much fun with this freaking coin. Oh my God. Like, look at that. I don't know if that's any better. Maybe it's too dark. I can just hear Hermione in my head when Professor Trelawney was looking in the crystal ball for Harry and she's like, oh, not that stupid grim, not the grim again or whatever she said. Like, Oh my God. Okay. I could talk about this forever. God, my bra is showing. I on a table like this. And I guess what, what, what do I want to know guys? What do I want to know? Um, but -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. is the, no, will my daughter Bella be potty trained before she's four, which is coming up soon. So, I guess you just go till it stops. 20 years later. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to land in the middle. I don't think I did that right, but... Oh, it's a little oily. Yeah. Okay, this is so oily. I can't... Hold on, I got to get my scissors. Okay, I'm just wiping it off a little bit. The inner eye. And this is a very cool, my hands are still oily. <laughs> Trade cat category, categorization, Cate the Sith. Bye guys. Ugh.